10 Ridiculous Projects That the Government Spent Millions of Tax Dollars On The U.S. government has a lot to answer for, especially in 2021, with unpopular decisions, shady practices, sketchy tactics, and that Afghan withdrawal to name a few. But if you look a little deeper, you'll discover an incredible amount of money being thrown around by the government on projects that can only be considered worthwhile by, well, a politician. These are 10 ridiculous projects that the government spent millions of tax dollars on. Number 1. Fighting Hamsters I know what you're thinking. You've always wanted to know about the fighting habits of hamsters, right? Well, for more than 20 years, Northwestern University researchers received money from the National Institute of Health to watch hamsters fight. The project reportedly received over $3 million over the course of the project and $306,000 just in 2015. So what did they do with that money? They injected hamsters with steroids and had them fight regular hamsters to see if they were more aggressive and trained hamsters through constant battle to see if that made them more aggressive day to day. Money well spent, eh? Number 2. Quails on Blow Yes, you heard that right. The government, eager to understand the effects of cocaine on Japanese quails, and yes, you also heard that right decided to spend at least $518,000 to give cocaine to quails. This is a pretty absurd reason to spend that kind of money on cocaine, although they probably just ran Colombia and got a deal, but they theorized that cocaine abuse affected what they called risky sexual behaviors in humans, which in itself is another massive question mark. And it turns out that the sexual habits of quails are apparently very easy to measure in a controlled lab environment. Yeah, it's okay. It makes no sense to me either. Number 3. Paying Hipsters to Stop Smoking Hipsters are everywhere these days, but mostly on Twitter complaining about men and telling people they saw Taylor Swift before she was famous or whatever. But one thing that must be remembered is that these people are absolutely for sale. And when the NIH figured out that anti-smoking ads weren't getting young people to stop smoking, they went straight to the source. The group focused on the alternative music scene, local artists and designers, and eclectic self-expression. Five million dollars went on branded beer koozies and other random swag. There were smoke-free exclusive indie band events and a $100 incentive to quit the smokes and blog about it with the idea being to influence others to think smoking isn't cool. Number 4. Digitizing Grateful Dead Memorabilia Wow, that's oddly specific. Some people were, of course, over the moon, while others scratched their heads when the Institute of Museum and Library Services gave the University of California Santa Cruz over $600,000 in 2009 to digitize its collection of tickets, photos, t-shirts, and other memorabilia that had been donated by the band, scholars, and fans. You can see it if you like. The online collection of more than 50,000 items can still be viewed on the university library's website. Number 5. Forgotten Storage Believe it or not, a report in 2011 from the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration found that the International Revenue Service had spent quite a large amount of money on unused items in storage, even after accounting for those items that had been made use of in the previous 18 months. The report stated that the IRS had spent over $860,000 in totally unnecessary warehouse space, and not just in 2011, but every year. That's quite a hoarding habit they have there. Number 6. Printing Documents for No One to Read Bet you didn't know that the Federal Register, a document that outlines government proposals, decisions, meetings, and much, much more, costs over $900 a year in subscriptions. It could make money through this, but the reality is that most copies are unread. Every member of Congress receives a new copy every day automatically even though the contents can be easily found online for free. 
A bill considered in 2017 estimated a million dollars a year in savings by just stopping the government from automatically printing the Federal Register every day. What a waste of trees and money! Number 7. A Super Bowl Ad The Super Bowl is as about as grandiose an event as a capitalist society can achieve. Even though lately, the whole NFL seems to prefer throwing money away on socialist ideology. Millions watch the show every year, though, and in 2015, the Super Bowl was the most watched program in US TV history. That probably explains why the ads cost so much, which explains why the US Census Bureau took a hit in 2010 for using $2.5 million in taxpayer money to run a 30 second ad. The Bureau was unapologetic and argued that for every 1% increase in mail-in responses it received, it would save $85 million sending workers door-to-door. -door. Number 8. Camouflage That Sticks Out You might think that the worst thing you could find related to the US government and Afghanistan would be the Biden administration's absolutely farcical withdrawal from the country. And well, you'd be right. But as appalling an act of negligence as that is, in your search, you might just well come across this little nugget of insanity. The Pentagon was criticized in June of 2017 for wasting an insane $28 million on licensing fees for the green pattern you can find on Afghan National Army uniforms. But think about that. Afghanistan is 98% desert. Green in a desert country? You wouldn't believe it, but it's true. Why spend money at all, though? As there are plenty of other colors the government already has the right to that aren't used by American forces that would actually suit a desert country. A few other alterations like buttons instead of zippers would have saved taxpayers between $68 and $72 million over the course of a decade, according to a government report. Number 9. Holograms of Dead Comedians the National Comedy Center in Jamestown, New York, decided to bring the dead back to life in the form of creating a virtual comedy club experience featuring holograms of influential comedians in their heyday, such as George Carlin, Rodney Dangerfield, and Lucille Ball. It's a nice idea, and one that achieves its goal. But when you consider that it took $4.3 million from New York State and another $1.7 million in federal grants to make this idea a reality, it starts to dawn on you that maybe that money would have been better used elsewhere, especially as these comedians are all on YouTube anyway. Number 10. Empty Buildings No one likes derelict buildings. In fact, no one likes to see history degrading before the rise. The US government, who often don't care much for history, apparently still feel the same way. Some buildings that were previously used for actual services to mankind, such as old firehouses, offices, and schools, are still being held by the government, almost 800,000 in all. But what's curious is that those buildings, even totally empty, require upkeep, gardening, plumbing, and electricity. As you might expect, these things add up. But to how much? You won't believe this, but all those costs add up to around $1.7 billion every year, according to NPR. And you probably thought your electricity and water bills were expensive. Well, you're paying for theirs too. So there you have it. 10 ways that the government of the United States spends unbelievable and in many cases unjustifiable amounts of your taxpayer money on fanciful schemes, bizarre scientific research, pointless conservation, and in some cases, complete screw-ups. These are just the tip of the iceberg, by the way, and you can find plenty more out there. But for now, next time you're paying your taxes, remember these 10 ridiculous projects that the government spent millions of tax dollars on.